In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which, at your bidding, we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel came down, come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed, so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until a thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, and who, and who had not worshipped the beast or its image, nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life, and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne, and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great and the lowly, standing before the throne, and scrolls were opened. Then another scroll was opened, the book of life. The dead were judged according to their deeds, by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead. Then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Response to our Here God lives among his people. Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here, Here God lives among his people. people. Even the sparrow finds a home and a swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here, Here God, God lives among his, his people. people. Blessed they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Blessed the man whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. Here, Here God lives among his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. 
Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst forth, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our first reading from the book of Revelation is very difficult to interpret. Uh, I have read, and, and I did this when we were studying the book, Will Catholics Be Left Behind on Wednesday night, where some ministers were, their image was... Uh, the New Jerusalem was going to kind of reside in the clouds above the current city of Jerusalem. And in the New Jerusalem, if you can imagine New York City hovering above London in the clouds. And in the uh, New Jerusalem, you'd have everyone who was raptured, who was living there. And in uh, the old city of Jerusalem, the current Jerusalem, you'd have Jesus reigning uh, as an earthly king with the Jews. Okay, that really does seem quite implausible. But uh, that's why it's just really confusing when you look at it. The one thing that I do want to focus in on today is not the utter confusion that can come from that, and the fear that can be uh, brought about due to that confusion. But the reality that today we're told through John that God will judge the dead according to their deeds. And we know that that coincides with our belief that God judges all people according to their deeds. And we know that his judgment is honest and true because unlike a court uh, official nowadays who has to make a decision based on the best knowledge he can ascertain with God, it's not so much that he judges, is that he reveals the judgment that we ourselves have passed against ourselves. And he just shows it to us. That's why it's the most just and true judgment. Because um, he says, here it is. This is your life. Here are your intentions. This is why you did what you did, both good and bad. And so whenever that is finished, and I, and I don't believe it's uh, flashed on the, quote, big screen, wherever it's an instantaneous revelation of knowledge within us to where we can go, yeah, that's it. And I've often heard people say, well, I'll, you know, try to debate my way out of it or, no, I don't. Um, it's like debating if this book is a book. Yeah, you can debate all day long, but guess what? It's still a book. So the reality of the judgment is uh, real and it is true and it is just because it's my judgment against me with armed with that knowledge you and I should pray every day that we can be the best Christians we can be and we should encourage and pray for others to do the same I I, I honestly think it would be disappointing rather disappointing and I I say that, and that's not a strong enough word, to know that uh, any of the, the people God has entrusted to me, either at Thomas or Bridget's, for you, for your own immediate families, that someone uh, may not make it, 
And when that revelation comes, he realizes that you had the opportunity to pray and encourage, and you chose a different path. You chose to maybe uh, not pray and encourage, or even worse, you might have instigated. Uh, I, I don't think I'd want to, gosh dog, I, I know I just don't, uh, I, I, I wouldn't want that to be revealed to me. And that'd be very disappointing. So let us pray today to be the best we can be and encourage others to be the best and pray for them, offer sacrifices for them. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound. We pray for the needs of our extended family who watch this Mass on video. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Clyde Birch, for whom this Mass is being offered this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for you, you here present, for your needs and the needs of your families, those that you hold most dear to your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the Glory Be Prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred <clears throat> offerings which, at your bidding, we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us in failing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise, your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord. God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until the coming of the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us on to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. A prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.